Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Now in today's video, although it is still the holiday season and we're getting in the holiday mood with a lot of holiday recipes, I wanted to share something a little non-traditional and another creation that I created in my kitchen. Now you all know that on my channel, I love to share different Matai recipes and revamp that traditional Guyanese Matai recipe. Well, I'm back at it again and I wanted to share a holiday inspired one. Now, if you all have checked out my channel before, I've done a chocolate peppermint version, I've done a cherry coconut version, I've done lots of different Matai recipes. But in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my recipe for an eggnog Matai. This Matai right here was absolutely delicious. The Matais were buttery, they were soft and fluffy, and it had a nice little hint of that eggnog flavor, and of course, some different spices that I added in. But if you all are interested on how I make my eggnog Matai, please keep on watching. All right, so this eggnog matai is very easy to put together with minimal ingredients. So in a large bowl, I'm gonna start off with my dried ingredients. I'm gonna be going in there with some all-purpose flour, and then I'm gonna be adding in my baking powder. This is what gives matai that nice, soft, and fluffiness that we all know and love. And then I'm gonna be going in with some spices. For this recipe, all I'm gonna be using for right now is some cinnamon, some nutmeg, and then I'm gonna be going in with some ground ginger. If you wanted to add in cardamom, anise seeds, or any other type of sweet spices of your choice, feel free to do so. Once all of those spices are mixed in with the flour and the baking powder, it is time to go in with some custard powder. Now, I always use custard powder when I make matai because that's what gives you that rich melt-in-your-mouth taste and texture. And on top of this, I'm also gonna be going in with some milk powder. This is totally optional, but again, by adding in the milk powder, it adds in another layer of richness and another rich taste to the matai. And once all of the dried ingredients are mixed together, it is time to go in with some unsalted butter. Remember that the colder your butter is, the more flaky your matai is gonna come out. So all I'm gonna do is rub that butter into the flour until I get a fine breadcrumb texture. And at this point, we're gonna be going in with some shredded coconut. You can use fresh coconut or the store-bought coconut shreds. And once you mix in those coconut shreds, it is time to go in with the star of the show, the eggnog. Now I'm using straight eggnog to go ahead and mix my dough today. If you didn't have the eggnog and you wanted to make this regular matai, of course you can use milk or evaporated milk. But today, for that added richness, for that eggnog taste, I am using eggnog. And right on top of that eggnog, or whatever liquid you're using, you're also going to go in with some vanilla extract. This is going to add a nice taste to the matai as well. And on top of the vanilla, I'm also going in with some almond extract. Once all of these ingredients are added in, you're just gonna keep on mixing everything together until you get a nice soft dough. You don't want something too sticky and you don't want something too hard. If your dough is still too hard, keep on adding eggnog until you get a nice soft dough. So I allowed my dough to come together and as you guys can see, it's a nice smooth texture right here. And once you get to that texture, you're just gonna roll it out on a lightly floured surface to about a half of an inch thickness. And once you get to that thickness, you're gonna cut it into your desired shapes. I'm cutting them in the traditional triangle and trapezoid shapes, but you feel free to cut it however you want. You can cut it in little rectangles, squares, tiny strips, big strips, whatever the case, just go ahead and cut them to your liking. And once all of your matai pieces are rolled and cut out, it is time to start the frying process. So in a saucepan here, I've gone in with some oil, I filled it up about halfway, and it's on a medium to medium high heat, so this way they don't burn, but once the oil is hot, you're gonna add in one batch of these matai pieces, and you're gonna keep on frying it for about four to five minutes or until they're golden brown, and then you're gonna take them out of the oil. This is after about three minutes of frying. As you guys can see, it's a nice golden brown color. I'm gonna keep on frying it for maybe about one more minute, so this way it can get a little bit darker. Now, once all of your matai pieces are fried, you're gonna take a small batch of them and put them into a large bowl. Once you put them into the bowl, you're gonna drizzle them liberally with some condensed milk, and then right on top of that, you're gonna add on a good amount of powdered sugar. And all you're gonna do is keep on mixing it together until the condensed milk dries up with the help of that powdered sugar. Now, of course, I have so many videos on my channel showing you how to make the traditional pog or the sugar syrup, which is just sugar and water boiled together and then toss over the matai until it crystallizes. But this right here is a very, very quick method of coating your matai. So I definitely recommend giving this one a try because it's so much easier than the sugar coating. And the amount of condensed milk and powdered sugar that you add on top of the matai is totally up to your preference. If you want a very thin coating as you're seeing here, then leave it as is. But if you want an even thicker coating, add on some more condensed milk and then keep on adding powdered sugar until it dries up. And you're just gonna keep on doing this in batches because by doing it in batches in smaller amounts, it definitely helps to coat them more evenly and you'll have an easier time doing it. But after you're done coating all of your pieces of matai, you can serve them straight away. Some people love nice warm matai, some people like them cold, and some people like them stale even. Whatever way you like them, trust me, they're gonna taste delicious, and these pair absolutely well with a cup of tea, 
cup of coffee, or even a cup of hot chocolate. You all are gonna enjoy this one. Once you bite into or rip into one of these, you're gonna see how soft, fluffy, flaky, and amazing they look on the inside. It also has a nice rich yellowish color. That is because of the custard powder, the milk powder, as well as the addition of that eggnog. And if you lovely people out there enjoy this video today, please don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Give me the Christmas gift of becoming my newest subscriber. And of course, drop those comments down below. And if you have any other holiday recipes or different Matai variations that you want me to try on my channel, drop them down below in the comment section. And I'll see you all again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye everyone.